right. You heard me, bitch. Hi, this is Andrew Lincoln. I play Rick Grimes. Hi, this is John Bernthal. I play Shane Walsh. And this is Gwyneth Horter Payton, and I'm the director of this episode. And that's Mike Rooker, sweating. Michael Rooker on top of the building. Fortunately, this was a day that wasn't 106 degrees, but closer to maybe 92 because of a little cloud cover. And all I can say is that Michael Rooker, what he brought to this scene was phenomenal. He injured himself. What you see there with the wounds, that's not makeup. That's Michael Rooker beating his head against the pavement because he was so into this scene. This scene being him up there for 24 hours in the heat. And this was a two-page scene which, you know, after filming it, I think it, it ran about four minutes. But So we shot the hell out of it. We sh- I shot every angle I could. And um, Michael brought everything else to it. Just to see that prick spit his teeth out on the ground. I remember the crew after they'd seen this scene, and all of the guys, the camera guys, the, the sound were just going, he just it was insane. I mean, people were blown away by his performance. Yeah, I remember the same. Yeah, it was such an honor because we did, we did his, I mean, it's hilarious because the guy spent all of The Walking Dead on that roof. I mean, that's all. He just got ba- he got battered yeah. for days, and the first two scenes were uh, the two days on the roof prior to this scene were just. Oh my God! Look at him go. Yeah, and that's a real handcuff on him, and he is ripping his skin off his wrist. He's the real deal, this guy. I want to say technically the shot that we just saw where we were going up just so people know how we did that. It was very low tech. We put a two by four between two stands, hung the camera off of that, and did that pull back on the lens, as opposed to putting a crane up there. It's beautifully shot. Wow. That's a great shot, going down with him. Well, so there were uh, three cameras, and then we added uh, David Boyd, our brilliant director of photography, snuck in a little um, Canon, I think 5D or 7D. It's not this shot, yeah, but it's, doing it's that in there. all around. Yeah. In down there, yeah, he just he, snuck he, it he in while we were filming. Yeah, he yeah. just stuck, he just hit it be- behind a pillar there to get a close up. Tell me now, show me the way. Tell me what to do. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> this Walking Dead show looks Look, see? pretty good. Look, see? There's the bashing. Yeah. It, look at him. It was such a privilege to work with him. I couldn't believe it when it, we got him to play Merle because, you know, Portrait of a Serial Killer is, is one of the great performances, I think, of, you know, certainly from... It was so important to me when I was a teenager. And I just think he's a wild actor. He's a wild man. He's going to thank you now! Don't you worry about me! One of the, the greatest parts of this scene is that this is a guy who often plays a, a killer, a serial killer, whatever, and... Very unlikable guy, and here he becomes sympathetic. Yep, which is the key mm. to the scene. I think. I think that's really what's great about all Frank's characters. You know, it's it, it's never just one way with any of them. There's always two sides, and 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 there's always a real texture and richness to everybody. Absolutely. I remember it had been so intense, the filming up until, well, it was all intense, in fact. But then Rooker was doing this scene and in the previous episode, and he had to beat up irony. And there was this whole thing, and the camera guy just said, look, Mike, can you just can you get your leg a bit higher? <laughs> and he did this kung fu. It was one of the funniest things I've ever <laughs> seen. But the guy is so fit. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know how old Michael is, but he just threw some shapes like I have never seen. It was the first time that I sort of laughed. I had all this <laughs> pent-up tension, and <laughs> Mike Rooker did this kung fu set piece, you know, in between setups. That I just thought, this is insane. His brother. Oh, hello, here we are. There's Stephen. Stephen. Having <laughs> fun. <laughs> At least somebody's having a good day. Okay, campsite. Camp 
Yeah, the cans. Oh, Andy. Yeah. There's a great actor right there. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, always in the part. Yeah. Maybe the more you feel I, love, I love the way it's... Because this is the first time I've seen it. It looks so... It's beautifully shot, isn't it? It's great. Shave. That stinks. Check out your man there. Wishing for one of your Good guy. I believe that one is you. Tell you what, you just... Get through this with some manly dignity, and tomorrow I'll teach you something special. Did you ever not have that gun in your hand? No, nah, man. Shame. Slept with that thing. Slept with that thing. <laughs> you know, I love this uh, this episode because it it, it really let um, Shane and Carl kind of establish this relationship, and I, I thought it was a really, really just smart and really beautiful move on on Frank's part to make this kind of love triangle, not just the yeah. typical thing between two men and a woman you know and it's it's really about how this guy kind of falls in love with this little boy and 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 how you know the, that this little boy looks at him as a father figure and how much it means to him and just to establish the bond there i think is was a really really beautiful move and and i'm really grateful to to frank for it mm. I think that's the thing more and more, that you are the family. You are family. That's the thing more and more that as the series went on, Shane is my brother, you know, and, and you mm. are family and you've grown, we've grown together. And that is just one of the most exciting things is that at the heart of this camp is this, you know, this, this broken triangle, you know, and it's, it, mm. it's such a powerful dynamic, I think. Mm. What I loved about that scene was the fact that just that morning you guys had actually made love so it was this just, you know, layer that we wow. had to just, you guys snuck in there very, very subtly. Yeah. Without Chandler, our very talented young actor, without him seeing. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. Kid's a ninja. Yeah. So just, you know, logistically speaking for the audience here, that that is Atlanta in the background. You'll see glimpses of it now and then at the building back there. Why isn't she with you? Where is she? She's okay? Yes. Yeah. Fine. Everybody is. Well, we're all not so much. You crazy. Stephen Young is really great, great, man. What a great well, everybody is just it's just yeah. they, everybody Every, there's is just so you say in about it. It. Yeah, it's just across the board. Everybody's so... And this was it, man. This is when we first started to get to all kind of get in there together. It was our first chance. We were all so... I just remember being there then at this point, especially knowing what's about to come, you know, with this truck pulling up, just bubbling with excitement. I mean, I hadn't yeah. I hadn't worked with Andy since the pilot. It, it, it had almost been a month, you know. I know, man. I was... And it, it is, felt exactly the same for me. It was like this... It, uh, it was... I was... Because I'd spent so much time alone or just, you know, with my horse. And it was just like, just get me amongst my family again. And it really... The, the mm. reunion scene that you're just about to see, really... I, yeah. You know, it had been, what, four weeks... And I'd uh, so much, so much had happened, and it was yep. just yeah. We were such different a, people, weren't we? Yeah, just different man. People at this it, point. it really felt like that, and it was an extraordinary sort of powerful and um, you know, as you can t see, a, an emotional thing for everybody. Oh. It, was, it was, it was extraordinary. Look at this boy. Yeah, Chandler. he is just. This boy is astonishing. Yep. I mean, it's just wild what he did. <laughs> I thought we had lost you folks for sure. How'd y'all get out of there anyway? New guy. And I've got to say, you know, for, for people who might not otherwise pay attention, you know, I was talking to Gwyneth about it earlier. I think this is as, about as good as direction can possibly be in this reunion scene. We literally check in with every single character and see where everyone's at and it just was so brilliantly shot it's just it's beautiful all right i i just have to say that one of my most favorite moments besides this right here that we're watching mm. is john you seeing andy for the first time it's just unbelievable oh man i actually got shivers this is just cool. and now this is just right out of the comic book i mean this is really how well, robert out, drew it everyone gets to you did, you shot it in a way that yeah, you just check in with everyone. It's that's just the, it really is the be it's beautifully shot because mm, you get look everything. That. Look at everybody, it's wild. <laughs> Everyone's on it, dude. Yeah. 
And then Sarah, this was so hard to play. It's so mixed for her. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. right what here? Is, it's just there's so what many different ways. I mean, Sarah is just mind blowing, man. Mm. And then here, look to yeah, John. Oh shit. And I love that, yeah, <laughs> John. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. That's it was the just deal, perfect. Man. Like what, you did it perfectly. Yeah. You know, it's kind of strange because I was really nervous this scene because it, even though that there are my best and closest and loved ones there, there are all these strangers as well. I felt very much like an outsider. Yep. I mean, there were so many sort of mixed emotions in this, in all of this camp, and because they are strangers, and so much they've been driven by by situation rather than, you know, personality. You know, and I think that that's one of the the most exciting things I'm looking forward to certainly with the second season is just finding out more everyone's so damn good at what they do like that each one of these people can bring so much you know when they're when they're given the chance you know? yeah well everybody was 100 percent I think everybody knows how lucky they were to be there I have to say with all the footage that we shot which was a record amount of footage in fact around the campfire we shot six hours of film tape that day, which is must be a record, that our editor, who I've known for years, and I've done several shows with him, Hunter, did an absolutely brilliant job. Hell yeah. It looks don't deceive. I barely got them out. I just remember Adam just calling out in the read-through, who plays Ed, where the first time I heard his voice, yeah. I was like, who's this dude? He's the yeah, real he is awesome. deal. He's like, <laughs> where's he come from? You know, we, but we kept having that. You know, they cast so, I mean, Frank and Gail and everybody, at MC, you know, they were so smart. It just, everybody that arrived just brought this, you know, this guy. Here. There he is. There's Adam. Check, yeah. him, <laughs> check him out. He just was that guy. <laughs> he it was, was that It was guy. phenomenal. Yeah. And, then you, and then you talk to him afterwards and he's the sweetest dude, man. He's dust. Yep. But he was so in it. And, and this was also the first episode to get a real taste of, uh, of Melissa, you know. Oh, yeah. It's just, just, it's also phenomenal. Yeah, she's a magician. She, she yeah, she is. She's Look at this guy. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Gwyneth, how about the time my foot caught on fire? <laughs> <laughs> I think we used that. Yeah, I think we used it, too. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> just kept going. Yeah, you, Did you had put to it put it out. out. John, you had to you? stomp yeah. it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. We just played it. Daryl came over and sprayed it. <laughs> well, you know what? One thing about this scene, there was a lot of back and forth about how to shoot this, and, and most of the people wanted to shoot it on stage, where it wouldn't be hot, where we wouldn't have bugs. And I really thought that we should shoot it where it should be hot, and we would have bugs, mm. so you could feel everything and, and just shoot it practically. And, and uh, finally, that's what we did. And I, you know, even though you can't see a lot back there, I think it helped. Oh, it it just the atmosphere. Yeah. It, was, oh, yeah. it was great. Jeez. Oh. It was such an exciting time, all of this. And I remember, uh, Gwyneth, you did so many takes on this, and it was beautifully done. You just kept giving such phenomenal notes. Yeah. Just They kept getting more and more and more detailed. And it was, and it was a real thrill, actually, because it, it was the first time it felt like we had breath in the, in the show, just because of the nature of the other episodes were so sort of action and uh, operatic. And this felt like it landed here with the character. And the characters. Well, I think it was a complete collaboration. Remember the, all the stuff that we kept going through between the two, the, you and you and Sarah, where we were discovering things as we went along, because mm. we had little time. And uh, remember, I—I I mean, there were things that were just occurring to us at the time, and just watching it, it was so much fun. Mm, it really yeah, was fun. I think it, the the relation between the two of you is one of the most complicated I have experienced in a long time, and in, in a script. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that in a television series you would get to in maybe season six. Hmm. It's like, remember, but then that happened, that happened, that happened. Remember? Yeah. It was so exciting because cause you realize that the, the relationship was broken before this tragedy happened, this disaster happened. So you've, you've got all of this sort of flooding back as well while you're having this reunion. I mean, it's incredibly um, mixed from everybody's point of view. And the subtext, there's nothing better than playing loads of subtext. Exactly. We're all scared. We all ran. What's your point? I stopped long enough to chain that door. The staircase is narrow. And, yeah. John, you were just, you were so incredible. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> it's, it's a big understatement. And it's, Andy, everybody, yeah. just, uh, everybody was 
I say 100%, everybody was 130%. Well, it's just because the material's so good, you know. You just want to serve it, don't you? You just want to go, come on. That's it. I think also it, it helped. I was talking to John earlier. I think it helped that we were... Uh, we were up on we were up on a hill, and you know normally actors we go through a day and actors go back to their their trailers because we have a little time and and um, in in this case we couldn't the trailers were too far away everybody was up there on this hill in this searing heat for I don't know it was five or six days yeah. and it was it was a different experience and I think it was a you know a little bit of the Stockholm syndrome. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think that's right. I think okay, it's true. right. <laughs> but we were all bound together, all experiencing the same environmental conditions, and it just uh, oh, this scene. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I've gone very quiet because I I don't actually watch. This <laughs> <laughs> I know what this scene is, and I'm not. I, you and know, yeah, he won't you know, watch talk, himself. Talk, talk, talk you look yeah. great, guys. <laughs> you, uh, you're, you look very yeah. fit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's because I hadn't. Yeah, that was Atlanta heat. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the Atlanta, Atlanta workout Atlanta, regime. The, yeah, that's it. Just sweat, Walking sweat and zombies. <laughs> right, it's great right, for right. the abdominals. Yeah, and here this is for Sarah. This is uh, this is probably one of the more challenging scenes that any actor can. Oh, I mean, what is going through? I mean, it's so rich, though. I mean, it's extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I think it one of the greatest coups that they did with transposing the you know the the comic book to the it was building on Shane you know and just having that as a vital presence in the show. I just think it's the coolest thing they could ever have done. I just think it's it's so smart. Absolutely. I told you so. Now you're getting cocky, huh? A lot. I'm, I'm not watching. That's why I've gone quiet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Belongs in here. <laughs> well, it's what's amazing, of course, is that you're you're there. You know, Shane's presence is just palpable here. I think mm. in this. Yeah, in, in this scene, it's just all over. It's it's all over Sarah, so to speak. You know <laughs> it what is. I mean? It's just like in, <laughs> in her performance, you can just see it. Same yeah. day, everybody yeah. has to remember. Uh, yeah, it was only that morning. Yeah. you know, and it's not like she's sorry, but it's not like she's. Babes. But you can also see <laughs> that she, it's a woman that would never be in that situation, and it, it, it's totally no. it, It's totally foreign to her to be in that kind of situation. It's just exactly. It's just it's it's too much for her to handle it's it's beyond her it's crazy and so this is something that's happening for the very first time to her absolutely which we mm. see as she's she's playing it as you know something just second by second completely new experience and how she has to deal with it. which is really the whole i think the whole thing about the walking dead is that people are thrown into extreme situations where they come up against completely new ethical dilemmas and they mm. act in human ways that we all understand but they're unique mm. ways and I think all these characters are sort of constantly trying to understand this new world that they're in. And I, I, I really dig this episode for that, too, because I think this is the first time where we really start to get a sense of, okay, this is going to be the com new community. What rules yeah, are society, there? society, isn't more it? Yeah, importantly, exactly. Yeah, the new society and really, like, w what is the lack of rules? And I think that's what's really discovered in this episode, that, you know, there are no rules. And I, I think yeah. that's uh, where the real danger of the show comes comes from i think it's it, it is it's that but it's the boundaries boundaries are broken continually you know and that's the fear as well and you know where does where does that lead it's it's the most thrilling thing i think they're they're broken yeah i think one of the most thrilling things is when you are in the moment making moral decisions that are as you say before completely new and beyond anybody's sort of imagination and there's something 
My brother, I was asking my brother, and we were talking about it. He said, the thing I love about the comic book and, and what you're doing in the show is the fact that everybody reaches a certain point and the audience comes with them and they go, yeah, of course, because it's justified and it's justified and justified. And then suddenly you get somebody that reminds them of where they've come from. And it's shocking mm. to go, that's how far they've come. And, mm. and, uh, and how their moral code has sort of changed and... And it, and it is thrilling in one sense. It's terrifying in the other. Absolutely. Yeah, but then and then within you know all the broken rules, it's still the, uh, a group of human beings who are constantly trying to come up with the new rules, the new rules that are proper. Yeah. You know, always trying, really, always trying to do right, struggling. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Hey. This is, look at the, I mean, I, she I love me this. Away. Melissa. Melissa is just amazing. Yeah, she is. I, just, I remember looking back, I did a double take because I was like, she is so good. I was just, she's just, yep. just yeah. completely inhabited. She humbles you right up, doesn't she? Like, oh, yeah. okay, that's acting. It's just, that's how it's that. supposed to be. That's yeah. What, that, yeah, just follow that. Just do that. Yeah. This kid is a superstar. Go on, strip it clean. Yeah, yeah, look at Stephen. Yeah. Stephen is just... <laughs> he brings and, a lot. And the god. The, the yeah, man, that's the, the wizard the right there. The wizard, yeah. Jandolf, is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff is as good as it gets. Absolutely. Yeah. And, not to, you know, for everybody that, that obviously would have no way of knowing, that is the true... I mean, he's the guy. He's, he's on set and just everybody. He's, yeah. he's, he's the wise man, you know? Yeah. And present all the time. All the time. All the time. For anybody who's talking to him, he's there for yep. that person. Mm, That's it. Amazing. I can't wait to get back and see you all. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. It's so yeah. exciting. God, what? You're thinking about the man we left behind? You're kidding. She says you're... At, you're, you're cr absolutely. Dude, this I is found where... This, this is a difficult scene, you know, for, because it's the guy's just come back and it's this, that... At the heart of this is, look, I'm going again. I've got to go out for this guy that we've left on the... I mean, it said so much, it informed so much of this character, I think, this scene for me is just that he goes back. Sure. I mean, it's, it's his flaw, huge. huh? I mean, this, this is, is flaw. Yeah, it this is, is his flaw. pathology. Just, this is what yeah, got, is. Did, created the trouble in, in the beginning, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. Work, 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 work. This work, is work. it. Driven. Oh, this is great. Talk about boundaries being broken, you know, when, when we yeah. hear this, it's just... You remember running through these woods, throwing yeah, the weapons? Yeah, yeah. I took like three diggers, man, just right into a tree, <laughs> running, to, running through there. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't complain, of course. No, no. Yeah. This was so great. And then to find Nicotero oh, here with this deer. <laughs> oh, this is Greg. For those who don't know, this is, uh, this is Greg Nicotero. The, yep, Willy the Wonka. guy who created all this. The guy stuff, who does yeah. all of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Special remember, effects makeup. Remember, Richard, we were looking at the. the uh, <laughs> Him eating the deer, and we go. No way is this making it on TV. No chance. Yeah. So this is where this is Set where I'm telling out. Greg to 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 take bigger bites out of that, <laughs> and I'm gagging. I'm gagging as I'm giving directions. Look at that. Okay. Oh. After one of these takes, Greg told me <laughs> I was hitting him too hard. In the yeah, back. you did. Actually, you Spruce. took him in the kidney. Yeah. You kidneyed him. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, stop struggling so hard, Greg. Yeah. So this is our Lord of the Flies. Yeah. Secrets. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never seen that. I'm not watching that. Well, they're running out of food in the city. That's what. I love this. Where This is where, you know, the zombie crossed the line. The zombie came, yeah. crossed the border, got through the cans, whatever, and the men didn't act rationally at all. They didn't yeah. get them in the head. They just went. That's it. Yeah. They felt they that, that lawlessness. Yeah. And here's one of the great entrances of TV history. Norman. I'm serious. Yep, the squirrel Norman. carrying Norman. Check Norman and his squirrels. Twelve squirrels. I'm serious. This is, that is, it this looks. Is cinematic. Look at the looks between you guys. This is a cinematic <laughs> first. I'm serious, man. What <laughs> is, is he doing? Uh, this is one of the first. Uh, when he did his lines, I giggled because I'm like, this guy is yeah. so funny. He's the. F and and you know, for so many of us, this was our first... This was like the first time I'd ever talked to, to Norman. We just met him here on set. <laughs> And he was so, so humble and, and nervous was, and man. wanted to do good. And, oh, and, and it was just, he, he's and the polar good opposite is this of this guy. He is so a sweet, great. sweet. This is such a wonderful character, you know? Yeah, it is one of the great characters. 
But, you know, this is one of the, the great things that Frank and all the team have brought is just, you know, broadening it out and going, what about this guy? And I think Rob, uh, Robert Kirkman himself said, he said, I wish I missed a trick on this guy, on Daryl. Daryl Dixon, man. Mm. And Merle. Yeah, what a great character. What I love about I mean, Daryl is that for all his faults, he's honest. Definitely. Mm. He's honest every step of the way. And honest he's essential and to the group. He's always yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a soldier. That's why he's still he in the group. That's why yeah. he's important. Yeah. yeah. Pragmatic to the core. Yeah. Merle! Merle! This was great, man. This is a fun scene. This he brought a lot to this. Oh. Yeah. Check him he out. was so game. He was, he he was, was so game. game. And, you know, and you nearly, yeah. uh, he was nearly unconscious. When you, you were strangling him. Yeah, when you were strangling him. So much fun. And, and, I, and I left it a little bit too long on one take, and, and, and he then afterwards, <laughs> bless him, just went, I couldn't really breathe on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just said, go ahead and choke me. I said, all right, man. I know, man. Yeah, this is great. He dead? <laughs> he throws the squirrels. He uses squirrels <laughs> as a weapon. What a badass. What the, that was his diversion. That yeah. was his diversion, think, yeah. yeah. So he could go after you. Do you think on his uh, action model, they, they've got squirrels? <laughs> they should so have squirrels, man. You got something you want to tell me? Your brother was a danger to us all. So I handcuffed him on a roof, hooked him to a piece of metal. He's still there. And I love how you, Rick Grimes, just tell it like it is. The mm. cop. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, we had to do that. I mean, it's, just, it's the only choice we had. But I think that's right. I think the that's it, because because it's it's exactly the direct way that he just there's the squirrels. There they go. Nice. Check out that check. Mm. And this is the old partnership, man, that we talked yeah, about. I you love know, this. Us two yeah. working together. It was just so great. But this and is this one is, one is just a real chokehold. I mean, this is this is it. You yeah, know, the like guy this is, is choking. There's no acting there. Yeah. And he said, just go for it. I'd like to have a calm discussion on this topic. You think we can manage that? And how about Mikey got the cameras in there so brilliantly, yeah. you know, to just be yeah. such a part of this and the, and the looks between you and me. I mean, how you get that? Uh, uh, yeah, he's brilliant. They, the, the, the crew are, un, are incredible. The and the way that they're just pulling focus, pulling focus in great distances as well. I mean, which gives it, that, yeah. like you say, you get everybody's reactions. It really is an ensemble sort of feel. That's it. Yeah, I have to say that, you know, we had actually 18 cast members up there at all times. So we had the three cameras running. And these guys, again, talking about the crew, they didn't do the normal focus measuring. They had to just run with it. Right. Almost all the time. Amazing. Never complained. They just did yeah. it. Yeah, and incredible. They were, they were so intricately involved with the characters. They knew every little moment to capture, and it was a constant dialogue back and forth, which was so great. They're just, yeah. the, just the best ally, best, you know, they're part of the cast. It was great. Exactly. They were just going with the flow. That's it. Just feeling it, you That's know. That's it. And there was, no, there was no separation. We were all working together. It was great. Yep. It really does feel so exciting when you're on set like that and you know that the crew are all kind of buzzing as well because of the material and because of what we're working on. And really focused, it felt like a really exciting place to work, you know. For sure. I think that because the material was so good and so honest and so pure that that's why, in regard to where the cameras went, and it's, it was sort of intuitive. There was not a lot of talk. Yeah. And David Boyd is one of these brilliant, very intuitive directors of photography who just feels it and look what we have i mean it's incredible well look i i don't okay rick so could you just could you throw me a bone here man could you just tell me why why would you risk your life for a douchebag like merle dixon hey choose your words more carefully oh, no i did douchebag's what i meant merle dixon I wouldn't give you a glass of water if you were dying of thirst. What he would or wouldn't love doing this scene this was a big scene it was like yeah, a seven page fun. scene wasn't it with everybody it was everybody and it was me and you sort of with the pub with the eyes on us and there's there's just yeah so much it was it was play here man it was public wasn't it this is this is this is the one of the most exciting things man. exactly and it's everything is outdoors everything is open yeah. everything is discussed and everything is challenged and it's like a, it must have yeah. been like when a, a, a roman forum you know what i mean when people just go yeah, nuts. Yeah. and everybody has a voice 
And I think it showed, uh, it was really cool because I think you, you and I were able to tap whether we meant to or not. We can't take credit for it probably, but I feel like a lot of our history comes out in this scene too and, and mm. the way you and I dealt with things and sort of the surprise that I'm challenging you and that I have my own ideas. Yeah. I think it was a very new thing for this relationship. Yeah. And as you say, this is, I think this is one of the first. We had one before this, but it, where it's, it's starting to sink in, where the private becomes the public. Yeah. And that's that's something that's completely new to this circumstance, yeah. human circumstance. The great thing I love about their relationship is that there there is this on it everything's allowed and it 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 feels like nothing is held on to. Do you know what I mean? If someone says something and they're impassioned and it's a good then it's allowed, you know, between them. They're like brothers. Yeah. You know, it's very exciting about that we're going to get into the breakdown of this. I know, man. I, it's going to it's totally. going to stop working and how and how that and how that affects the the unity of the society and what you know and how that splinters and the loyalties and the allegiances. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's, it's going to move. Oh, man, I'm it's so it's going to move into. But this, yeah. even this conversation right here, all you have to say is, "Hey, there's guns," and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> you know." Yeah, it's like, but that's that, the that's, deal. That's the deal. It's good enough. It. You know, there, there, there's a pragmatic kind of because it is so basic. Everything is mm. is back to basics. Yeah. Everything's been stripped away, and that's um. That's so exciting to play because, you know, emotions are so close to the surface, they're so raw, and everything is essential, you know, and it's about very basic things. But everything that can, can comprehend it, as well, you know, everybody can comprehend that. You know, I think as along those lines, I think that I was talking about Norman being so honest, that character being so, so honest, Daryl, but I think everybody, because of the circumstances is honest at this point. What we're seeing is mm -hmm. every every single character is completely honest because they have to. There's no hidden agenda here with people yeah. anymore. Well, you know, it's it's life and death, isn't it? Everything is life and death. I need that bag. Stakes are high. Look at this kid. He's got him. He's amazing. All right. Rumor is you have bolt cutters. Yeah, these two, man. I these love two, I, I love. <laughs> I'm so sorry that Andrew, you know, Andy got bit. You know, it's that a terrible yeah. dilemma that you know it's the occupational yeah. hazard in this show. But these two sure. would, you know, brilliant together. And he's able to kind do of... so much with so little, you know, yeah. it's just such a yeah. presence. With Merle, we'll bring your tools back too. Think of the bolt cutters. <laughs> no. He just wants to go. He, he wants just, to go. Come, come on, on get man. Get, go get Merle. I want to get my brother. Hurry up, dude. Brother. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's I love this. Man. The negotiation for tools, I love this. Yeah. Comes down to that. And it also shows that, you know, we don't know who this Rick guy is quite yet, you know? Mm -hmm. A few episodes later, he would have just given you the bolt cutters, you know? But mm -hmm. I think it's, 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 it's interesting. Sweeten the deal a bit. I love the fact that, you know, in this, he, he's sizing up all of this group as well. He doesn't know these people. I mean, I have a line to you, I think, and I go, you know these people better than I do, you know? Mm -hmm. And it is that, you know, and, and he defers, you know, when he thinks a decision's going to be made better by you or whatever, you know? It's it's the group first, it's family first, then the group, you know? Sure, sure. <laughs> 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 he used his foot. His foot. He used I didn't his know foot. That. That's He's so, yeah. Check him out. I love that. The Did you see the look moment. Steve gives him? You know, he's yeah, like, dude, he's you're, you're, you're hitting dude, the horn with your foot yeah. on my shoulder. <laughs> Steve, Steven, man. Oh, he's the funniest guy, Steven. Both those two yeah. are just like, what? You in that bag like the bottom of an old lady's purse. I love this. I hate that you're doing this, man. Old lady's purse. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Those line, the lines you get, you know, that it's there's so much depth in it. You know, there's so much richness in very spare writing. I mean, there isn't. It's not. You know, it's not big, big speeches and things. That it's so spare, but it's all so efficient. I think the writing is beautiful. Frank's done such an incredible job of just nailing it. Let's just hope that. Uh, Let's just hope that for your lucky number, okay? Thank you. All right.
What is he doing, man? I mean, he goes back. How can this? I, I found this so hard. I couldn't. Yeah, I could, you know, looking back at my family, you know, my, my wife and son, who I've just realized they're alive. You know, it's an incredible thing. Beautiful shot. It was a really fun scene to do. Hey, you know, I bet they'll be just fine. I'm not worried. Are you? Yeah, a little. The little Don't man think. stepping up. Yeah. Because the big man's gone. Right. And her Same. understanding that and giving that to him, the respect. Nothing's killed him yet. Hmm. Yeah, look how steady he is. Yeah. Mm. She gets it. Yeah. And she has to... She can't fall apart. She has to thank him for being that. Beautifully directed as well. You better be okay. It's my only word. You know, we might sound like some pretentious douchebags because we're telling you how great the show, but it's cr watching. It's like wow, it's just well, okay, we love I, it so much, and I, I, I don't say it. this about other stuff that I've no, done. No, I know, no, know, well, is, no, I know, no, me. Just, I mean, I think everybody's work is so good. I haven't seen it. I just don't. What, so it's so beautiful to watch. You know the scenes I'm not in. You know. Yeah, it's it's really really. You know, Frank has done something really special, and I think we're all just trying to live up to it. Dale? Now here's the... Great shot. Check this this is really fun. This was the, the brilliance of the practical location where there oh, is the quarry beyond. It's right down there. There it is. With Atlanta beyond. And it really was that color, blue. Yeah, remember when we were sitting when we were sitting there and we were saying you can get the RV in the oh, background. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. showed you showed me there was so one sh there was one connecting. base, wasn't there, where you could. Yeah, we 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 cheated it so he could connect it. This old fashioned way. All right, little man, look, you are the. You this are was the one of the on. most fun days I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, this was fun. Ever. This was really yeah. fun. For one thing, it was a little cooler down there. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I'll tell you, the mud was so... This uh, really, yeah, it was great. I would, this was just such a... It's just one of those things you just feel so blessed to get to underdo it with him. But that mud, you know, it was so... You, your feet just got stuck in that mud, and there's all those little teeny leeches that, that grabbed you. <laughs> you didn't tell me about the leeches. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were uh, pulling them off. We were pulling what? them off all day, yeah. Had no idea. <laughs> and and it, there's something about that water because it's quarry water. <laughs> oh God! Oh, you, we lost the bucket. The bucket doesn't float. Oh, the really? bucket would just get sunk down in the mud. But John, though, you brought a lot to that, and we kept that's it in. Good, we kept so all that good. stuff. Yeah, in. That, that, fought, that, yeah, that ad lib stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. I was really psyched. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I was oh, singing to him. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and revving him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boys will be boys. Meanwhile, it's so lovely seeing this as well. Yeah. I've never seen this. Huh? Is this oh. the famous line? Is the is um, I miss my? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's coming, coming up. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. yeah. Merle first or guns? Merle, we ain't even having this conversation. We are. <laughs> I love, I love, I love the, the relationship. It's just j trying to keep him in line when he's just he's a lunatic with a crossbow. That's yeah. quite a crew you got there, you know? Yeah, it's I know, just... man. Tell me about it. <laughs> I miss my bands, my sat nav. I miss my coffee maker. Oh, these girls, they're brilliant. Oh, yeah, they were having so much fun. My computer, texting. I miss my vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, how cool is that? That's such one of those old age lessons, you know? Like, that was such a hard line for her. And then it's just one of those things, like, you own that line and exactly. it's just, it just pays off. You know yeah. what? It came down to honesty. Yep. She really yeah. does miss it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, that's great. So good. Look at this check guy. Out, check out this it's guy. It's just man. perfect. I don't think I ever gave Adam a note. Problem oh, Adam was he just, just the guy. He just came in and did it. He's yeah. so good. Yeah. You ought to focus on your work. This ain't no comedy club. 
Look, she doesn't stop working. Mm. Hey, Carl. Did I tell you about not leaving Dale's sight? Oh, this scene, what? yeah. She didn't tell we could catch frogs. Right? It doesn't matter what Shane says. It matters what I say. Go on. Back to camp. We'll be right behind you. So complicated, isn't it? Very yeah. complicated. This was this was a hard scene. It was also, it was. We, we had you. some limitations as to where the camera could go. I actually really dig the way it came out. I'm, I'm thrilled with it. Yeah. It's the, the, the power dynamic is so interesting here, too. This is an example of a scene I think I was waiting for her to come and shout and scream at me, and she was waiting for me to shout and scream at her, so instead we just tried to be simple. Don't talk to him. From now on, my family is off limits to you. This is such a complicated scene where she, Sarah, had to... She had to set the boundary, and you had to respect it, yet it's fair, but it's not fair. Yeah. He's my best friend. I don't know you think that I'm not happy about that. Yeah, I thought maybe we were in this together, you know. Yeah, it's so good. They told me that he died. You son of a bitch. This was Norman's first kill. Mm. I think it was his second day filming. And he got to crossbow a zombie in the head. Uh, Check it out. I want ugly skank. <laughs> That's not a bad introduction to, it, to his new show. I have, <laughs> to, I have to tell the audience how we did this. Yeah. Because it's about as basic as it can be, where we put the arrow, like the old-fashioned, where you put the thing across the head and the arrow's just sitting there. <laughs> Uh -huh. and, then you, and then you whip pan it, it's there. And then you add yeah. some sound effects, thunk. That's, That's it. Cool. I tell you what, you don't like how your laundry's done? You are welcome to pitch in and do it yourself. This scene was a last second addition when we were doing the read through of this episode. Frank wrote this in right at the end and this was the most exciting it, you know actors talk about you always hear actors say I felt like Christmas when I read the script this was the best gift I ever got I felt was the way that this scene turned out it was amazing you, you so rarely get a chance to physicalize what's going on on the inside of you and he's so distraught and Frank gave me this opportunity to physicalize that on somebody and it's just such a gift are you gonna regret it later so she can show up with fresh bruises later Ed <laughs> yeah, we've seen them. He's terrific now. Okay. Now, come on. You know what? John, that, that little piece up there, that's where we were so used to not rehearsing. Okay. And you just wandered off and we yeah. <laughs> said, yeah. maybe we should rehearse this for once. Because we didn't know. You didn't know where you were going and we didn't know where you were going. And Whoa. Anyway, here's, here we God, go. God, this is so great. Oh, I haven't seen this, man. This is hard. You don't tell me what, I tell you I what. I tell you what. That's my favorite. I've me been too. We're saying that the whole rest of the show. I know. Tell me you, what I, I tell you I what. Love. I know. I love that. You tell me what, I tell you what. Now, this is something where we just filmed it as fast as we could yep. to to keep the energy, and Whoa. and what what Melissa's doing in the background absolutely fuels this and makes it yeah. you know to feel her energy behind her Whoa. you know to react that way to this guy who's been beating her and 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 the fact that it's such an honest reaction and it's the real reaction yeah and it's what mm, makes the scene mm. so scary and it what's it's what gives it layers and heart and absolutely she is just <laughs> it's totally mixed too it's it's we, it's, it's, it's strangely it's the yep. abused it's the the abused it's woman. everything it's lawless there's no rules exactly this is one of my favorite shots right there where Lori yeah. catches you in your moment of complete yeah. depravity. Yep. And you recognize yeah. it. It's, it's great. It's great that it's so wide as well. It's brilliant that it play. You know, when something's really honest, they play wide, don't they? It's Sometimes. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. That we pretty much played real time. We yeah. barely cut the camera. That's we right. just came in and added the blood. And we just kept shooting that yeah. whole thing Look, as once. Yeah. And, Lori, and Lori was great. Oh, great. Oh, and, yeah. And the, the, the music here is just, I th it's just the best. It's perfectly scored. I just feel like this ending, the emotions and everything that's going on, I think this is this is my favorite part.
part I, of the entire series. The and we shot this the first day, this part right here, the very first day. And look what Norman brings. This to is us. this was Norman's first take. Yeah, it uh, was. This, I mean, this was this was literally his first scene, and he had to come in and do the. I yep. mean, he was he was so wired for it. It was brilliant. I'm still getting chills. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what a finish, man. <laughs> After all of that, oh. It ends with the hand. That's amazing. <laughs> it's just nuts. Yeah. I can't wait to start again. I yeah. can't wait. Get after it. I'll see you in three weeks, guys. Hey, see you in Atlanta, buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>